Chapter 12 through 19 of Ezekiel from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Ken Campbell. The word of Yahweh also came to me, saying, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of the rebellious house, who have eyes to see and don't see, who have ears to hear and don't hear, for they are a rebellious house. Therefore, you, son of man, prepare yourself for removing, and remove by day in their sight, and you shall remove from your place to another place in their sight. It may be they will consider it, though they are a rebellious house. You shall bring forth your stuff by day in their sight, as stuff for removing, and you shall go forth yourself, at even in their sight, as when men go forth into exile. Dig you through the wall in their sight, and carry out thereby. In their sight you shall bear it on your shoulder, and carry it forth in the dark. You shall cover your face, that you don't see the Lamb, for I have set you for a sign to the house of Israel. I did so as I was commanded. I brought forth my stuff by day, as stuff for removing, and in the even I dug through the wall with my hand. I brought it forth in the dark, and bore it on my shoulder in their sight. In the morning came the word of Yahweh to me, saying, Son of man, has not the house of Israel the rebellious house said to you, What do you? Say you to them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, This burden concerns the prince in Jerusalem, and all the house of Israel among whom they are. Say, I am your sign, like I have done, so shall it be done to them. They shall go into exile, into captivity. The prince who is among them shall bear on his shoulder in the dark, and shall go forth. They shall dig through the wall to carry out thereby. He shall cover his face, because he shall not see the land with his eyes. My net also will I spread on him, and he shall not be taken in my snare. And I will bring him to Babylon to the land of the Chaldeans. Yet shall he not see it, though he shall die there. I will scatter towards every wind all who are around him to help him, and all his bands, and I will draw out the sword after them. They shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall disperse them among the nations and scatter them throughout the countries. But I will leave a few men for them from the sword, from the famine, and from the pestilence, and they may declare all their abominations among the nations where they come, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Moreover the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, eat your bread with quaking, and drink your water with trembling, and with fearfulness, and tell the people of the land. Thus says the Lord Yahweh concerning the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the land of Israel. They shall eat their bread with fearfulness, and drink their water in dismay, and her land may be desolate, and despoiled of all that is therein, because of the violence of all those who dwell therein. The cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land shall be desolation, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying, the days are prolonged, and every vision fails. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But tell them, the days are at hand, and the fulfillment of every vision, for there shall be no more any false vision, no flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh. I will speak and the word that I speak shall be performed. It shall be no more deferred, for in your days, rebellious house, will I speak the word, and will perform it, said the Lord Yahweh. Again the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he sees is for many day to come, and he prophecies of times that are far off. Therefore tell them, thus said the Lord Yahweh, there shall none of my words be deferred any more, but the word which I shall speak shall be performed, said the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 13 
The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy. And I say you to those who prophesy out of their own heart, Hear you the word of Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing. Israel, your prophets have been like foxes in the waste places. You have not gone up into the gaps, neither built up the walls for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. They have seen falsehood and lying divination, who say, Yahweh says, but Yahweh has not sent them. And they have made men to hope that the word would be confirmed. Haven't you seen a false vision? And haven't you spoken a lying divination, in that you say, Yahweh says? But I have not spoken. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, because you have spoken falsehood and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, said the Lord Yahweh. My hand shall be against the prophets who see false visions and who divine lies. They shall not be in the council of my people, neither shall they be written in writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Because, even because, they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there is no peace. And when one builds up a wall, behold, they daub it with whitewash. Tell those who daub it with whitewash that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and you, great hailstones, shall fall, and the stormy wind shall tear it. Behold, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said to you, where is the daubing with which you have daubed it? Therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will even tear it with a stormy wind in my wrath, and there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger, and great hailstorms in wrath to consume it. So I will break down the wall that you have daubed with whitewash, and bring it down to the ground, so that its foundation shall be uncovered, and it shall fall, and you shall be consumed in its midst." and you shall know that I am Yahweh. Thus will I accomplish my wrath on the wall, and on those who have daubed it with whitewash. And I will tell you, the wall is no more, neither those who daubed it, to wit, the prophets of Israel, who prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and who see visions of peace for her. And there is no peace, said the Lord Yahweh. You, son of man, Set your face against the daughters of your people, who prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy against them, and say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Woe to the woman who sew pillows on all elbows, and make kerchiefs for the head of persons of every statue to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people, and save souls alive for yourself? You have profaned me among my people, for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, to kill the souls who should not die, and to save the souls alive who should not live, by your lying to my people who listen to lies. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh, behold, I am against your pillows, with which you there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and I will let the souls go even the souls who you hunt, to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also I will tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and you shall know that I am Yahweh, because with lies you have grieved the heart of the righteous, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hand of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way, and be saved alive. Therefore, you shall no more see false visions, nor practice divination. I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. Chapter 14 Then came certain of the elders of Israel to me, and sat before me. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, these men have taken their idols into their heart, and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore speak to them, and tell them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Every man of the house of Israel who takes his idols into his heart, and puts the stumbling block of his inequity before his face, and comes to the prophet, I, Yahweh, will answer him therein according to the multitude of his idols, that I may take the house of Israel into their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. Therefore tell the house of Israel, 
thus said the Lord Yahweh, Return you, and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all of your abominations. For every one of the house of Israel, or of the strangers who sojourn in Israel, who separates himself from me, and takes his idols into his heart, and puts the stumbling block of his inequity before his face, and comes to the prophet to inquire for himself of me, I, Yahweh, will answer him by myself, and I will set my face against that man, and I will make him an astonishment, for a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. If the prophet be deceived, and speak a word, I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand on him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, they shall bear their inequity. The inequity of the prophet shall be even as the inequity of him who seeks to him, that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither defile themselves any more with all of their transgressions, but that there may be my people, and I may be their God, said the Lord Yahweh. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, when a land sins against me by committing a trespass, and I stretch out my hand on it, and break the staff of its bread, and send a famine on it, and cut off from it man and animal, though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, said the Lord Yahweh. If I cause evil animals to pass through the land, and they ravage it, and it be made desolate, so that no man may pass through because of the animals, though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, they should deliver neither sons nor daughters, they only should be delivered, but the land should be desolate. Or if I bring a sword on the land, and say, Sword, go through the land, so that I cut off it from it man and animal. Though so these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, they should deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they should only be delivered themselves. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my wrath on it in blood, to cut it off from man and animal, through Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, they should deliver neither son nor daughter, they should be but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. For thus says the Lord Yahweh, How much more, when I send my four sore judgments on Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the evil animals and the pestilence, to cut off from it man and animal? Yet behold, Therein shall be left a remnant that shall be carried forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth to you, and you shall see their way and their doings, and you shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought on Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought on it. They shall comfort you. When you see their ways and their doings, and you shall know that I have not done it without cause, all that I have done in it, said the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 15. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree? The vine branch, which is among the trees of the forest, shall wood be taken of it to make any work? Or will men take a pin of it and hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire has devoured both its ends, and its midst is burned. Is it profitable for any work? Behold, when it was whole, it was met for no work. How much less when the fire had devoured it! And it is burned, shall it yet be met for any work? Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, As the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. I will set my face against them. They shall go forth from the fire, but the fire shall devour them and you shall know that I am Yahweh. When I set my face against them, I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, said the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 16 Again the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh to Jerusalem, Your birth and your birth is of the land of the Canaanite, and the Amorite was your father, and your mother was a Hittite. As for your birth, in the day you were born, your navel was not cut. 
neither were you washed in the water to cleanse you you weren't salted at all nor swaddled at all no i pitied you to do any of these things to you to have compassion on you but you were cast out in the open field for that your person was abhorred in the day that you were born when i passed by you and saw you weltering in your blood i said to you though you are in your blood live yes i said to you though you are in your blood live i caused you to multiply as that which grows in the field and you increased and grew great and you attained the excellent ornament your breasts were fashioned and your hair was grown yet you were naked and bare now when i passed by you and looked at you behold your time was the time of love and i spread my skirt over you and covered your nakedness yes i swore to you and entered into a covenant with you said the lord yahweh and you became mine then i washed you with water yes i thoroughly washed away your blood from you i anointed you with oil i clothed you also with embroidered work and shod you with sealskin and i girded you about with fine linen and covered you with silk i decked you with ornaments and i put bracelets on your hands and a chain on your neck i put a ring on your nose and earrings in your ears and a beautiful crown on your head thus you were decked with gold and silver and your clothing was of fine linen and silk and embroidered work you ate fine flour and honey and oil and you were exceedingly beautiful and you prospered to royal estate your renown went forth among the nations for your beauty for it was perfect though my majesty which i had put on you said the lord yahweh but you did trust in your beauty and played the prostitute because of your renown and poured out your prostitution on every one who passed by his it was you took of your garments and made for yourselves high places decked with various colors and played the prostitute on them the like thing shall not come neither shall it be so you also took your beautiful jewels of my gold and of my silver which i had given you and made for yourself images of men and played the prostitute with them and you took your embroidered garments and covered them and did set my oil and my incense before them my bread also which i gave you fine flour and oil and honey with which i fed you you did even set it before them for a pleasant aroma and thus it was said the lord yahweh moreover you have taken your sons and your daughters whom you have borne to me and those have you sacrificed to them to be devoured were your prostitution a small matter that you have slain my children and delivered them up in causing them to pass through the fire to them in all of your abominations and your prostitution you have not remembered the days of your youth when you were naked and bare and was weltering in your blood it has happened after all your wickedness woe woe to you said the lord yahweh that you have built to you a vaulted place and have made you a lofty place in every street you have built your lofty place at the head of every way and have made your beauty an abomination and have opened your feet to every one who passed by and multiplied your prostitution you have also committed sexual immorality with the egyptians your neighbors great of flesh you have multiplied your prostitution to provoke me to anger see therefore i have stretched out my hand over you and i have diminished your ordinary food and delivered you to the will of those who hate you the daughters of the philistines who are ashamed of your lewd way you have played the prostitute also with the assyrians because you were insatiable yes you have played the prostitute with them and yet you were satisfied you have moreover multiplied your prostitution to the land of merchants to chaldea and yet you weren't satisfied with this how weak is your heart said the lord yahweh seeing you do all these things the work of an imprudent prostitute in that you build your vaulted place at the head of every way and make your lofty place in every street and have not been a prostitute in that you scorn pay a wife who commits adultery who takes strangers instead of her husband they give gifts to all prostitutes but you give your gifts to all your lovers and bribe them that they may come to you on every side for your prostitution you are different from other women in your prostitution in that none follows you to play the prostitute and whereas you give higher and no higher is given to you therefore you are different therefore prostitute hear the words of yahweh thus said the lord yahweh 
because of your filthiness was poured out, and your nakedness uncovered through your prostitution with your lovers, and because of all the idols of your abominations, and for the blood of your children that you gave to them, therefore see, I will gather all your lovers with whom you have taken pleasure, and all of those you have loved with all those you have hated. I will even gather them against you on every side, and will uncover your nakedness to them, that they may see all your nakedness. I will judge you, as women who break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will bring on you the blood of wrath and jealousy. I will also give you into their hand, and they shall throw down your vaulted place, and break down your lofty places, and they shall strip you of your clothes, and take your beautiful jewels, and they shall leave you naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against you, and they shall stone you with stones, and thrust you through with their swords. They shall burn your houses with fire, and execute judgments on you, in the sight of many women. And I will cause you to cease from playing the prostitute, and you shall also give no hire any more. So will I cause my wrath toward you to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from you. And I will be quiet, and will no more be angry. Because you have not remembered the days of your youth, but have raged against me, and all these things therefore behold, I also will bring you your way on your head, said the Lord Yahweh, and you shall not commit this lewdness with all your abominations. Behold, every one who uses proverbs shall use this proverb against you, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. You are the daughter of your mother, who loathes her husband and her children, and you are the sister of your sisters, who loathe their husbands and their children, and your mother was Hittite, and your father was Amorite. Your elder sister is Samaria, who dwells at your left hand. She and her daughters, and your young sister, who dwell at your right hand, is Sodom and her daughters. Yet have you not walked in their ways, nor done after their abominations, but as if that were the very little thing? You were more corrupt than they in all your ways. As I live, said the Lord Yahweh, Sodom your sister has not done. She nor her daughters, as you have done, you and your daughters. Behold, this was the inequity of your sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and prosperous ease was in her, and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. They were haughty, and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away, as I saw good. Neither has Samaria committed half of your sins. But you have multiplied your abominations more than they, and have justified your sisters by all your abominations which you have done. You also bear you your own shame, in that you have given judgment for your sisters, through your sins that you have committed more abominable than they, that they are more righteous than you. Yes, be also confounded, and bear your shame, in that you have justified your sisters. I will turn again their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samariah and her daughters, and the captivity of your own captives in the midst of them, that you may bear your own shame, and may be ashamed because of all that you have done, in that you are a comfort to them. Your sisters, Sodom and her daughters, shall return to their former estate, and Samariah and her daughters shall return to their former estate, and you and your daughters shall return to your former estate. For your sister Sodom was not mentioned by your mouth in the day of your pride, before your wickedness was uncovered, as at the time of the reproach of the daughters of Syria, and of all who are around her, the daughters of the Philistines, who do despite to you all around. You have borne your lewdness and your abominations, said Yahweh. For thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will also deal with you as you have done, who have despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish to you an everlasting covenant. Then you shall remember your ways, and be ashamed when you shall receive your sisters, your elder sisters, and your younger, and I will give them to you for daughters, but not by your covenant. I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am Yahweh that you may remember and be confounded and never open your mouth any more because of your shame when I have forgiven you all that you have done, said the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 17 The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, put forth a riddle, and speak a parable to the house of Israel, and say, thus says the Lord Yahweh, 
a great eagle with great wings and long feathers full of feathers which had various colors came to lebanon and took the top of the cedar he cropped off the topmost of the young twigs of it and carried it to the land of traffic he set it in a city of merchants he took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful soil he placed it beside many waters he set it as a willow tree it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature whose branches turned toward him and its roots were under him so it became a vine and brought forth branches and shot forth sprigs there was also another great eagle with great wings and many feathers and behold this vine did bend its roots towards him and shot forth the branches toward him from the beds of its plantation that he might water it it was planted in a good soil by many waters that it might bring forth branches and that it might bear fruit that it might be a goodly vine say you thus said the lord yahweh shall it prosper shall he not pull up its roots and cut off its fruit that it may wither that all its fresh springing leaves may wither and not by a strong arm or much people can it be raised from its roots yes behold being planted shall it prosper shall it not utterly wither when the east wind touches it it shall wither in the beds where it grew moreover the word of yahweh came to me saying so now to the rebellious house don't you know what these things mean tell them behold the king of babylon came to jerusalem and took its king and its princes and brought them to him to babylon and he took of the seed royal and made a covenant with him he also brought him under an oath and took away the mighty of the land that the kingdom might be base that it might not lift itself up but that by keeping his covenant it might stand but he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into egypt that they might give him horses and much people shall he prosper shall he escape who does such things shall he break the covenant and yet escape as i live said the lord yahweh surely in the place where the king dwells who made him king whose oath he despised and whose covenant he broke even with him in the midst of babylon he shall die neither shall pharaoh with his mighty army and great company help him in the war when they cast up mounds and build forts to cut off many persons for he has despised the oath by breaking the covenant and behold he has given his hand and yet has done all these things he shall not escape therefore thus said the lord yahweh as i live surely my oath that he has despised and my covenant that he has broken i will even bring it on his own head i will spread my net on him and he shall be taken in my snare and i will bring him to babylon and will enter into judgment with him there for his trespass that he has trespassed against me all his fugitives and all his bands shall fall by the sword and those who remain shall be scattered toward every wind and you shall know that i yahweh have spoken it thus says the lord yahweh i will also take of the lofty top of the cedar and will set it i will crop off the topmost of its young twigs a tender one and i will plant it on a high and lofty mountain in the mountain of the height of israel will i plant it and it shall bring forth boughs and bear fruit and be a goodly cedar and under it shall dwell all birds of every wing in the shade of its branches shall they dwell all the trees of the field shall know that i yahweh have brought down the high tree have exalted the low tree have dried up the green tree and have made the dry tree to flourish i yahweh have spoken and have done it chapter eighteen the word of yahweh came to me again saying what do you mean that you use this proverb concerning the land of israel saying the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge as i live said the lord yahweh you shall not have occasion any more to use this proverb in israel behold all souls are mine as the soul of the father so also the soul of the son is mine the soul who sins he shall die but if a man is just and does that which is lawful and right and is not eaten on the mountains neither has lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of israel neither has defiled his neighbor's wife neither has come near to a woman in her impurity and has not wronged any but has restored to the debtor 
his pledge, has taken nothing by robbery, and has given his bread to the hungry, and has covered the naked with a garment, he who has not given forth on interest, neither has taken any increase, who has withdrawn his hand from inequity, has executed true justice between man and man, has walked in my statutes, and has kept my ordinances, to deal truly, he is just, he shall surely live, says the Lord Yahweh. If he fathers a son who is a robber, a shedder of blood, and who does any one of those things, and who does not any of those duties, but even has eaten on the mountains, and defiled his neighbor's wife, has wronged the poor and needy, has taken by robbery, has not restored the pledge, and has lifted up his eyes to the idols, has committed abomination, has given forth on interest, and has taken increase, shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be on him. Now, behold, if he fathers a son, who sees all his father's sins, which he has done, and fears, and does not such like, who has not eaten on the mountains, neither has lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, has not defiled his neighbor's wife, neither has wronged any, has not taken anything to pledge, neither has taken by robbery, but has given his bread to the hungry, and has covered the naked with a garment, who has withdrawn his hand from the poor, who has not received interest nor increase, has executed my ordinances, has walked in my statutes. He shall not die from the inequity of his father. He shall surely live. As for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, robbed his brother, and did that which is not good among his people, behold, he shall die in his inequity. Yet say you, why does not the son bear the inequity of the father, when the son has done that which is lawful and right, and has kept all my statutes, and has done them? he shall surely live. The soul who sins, he shall die. The son shall not bear the inequity of his father, neither shall the father bear the inequity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be on him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be on him. But if the wicked turn from all his sins that he has committed, and kept all of my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die." None of his transgressions that he has committed shall be remembered against him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, said the Lord Yahweh, and not rather that he should return from his way and live? But when the righteous turns away from his righteousness and commits inequity, he does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, shall he live? None of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered, in his trespass that he has trespassed, and in his sins that he has sinned, in them shall he die. Yet you say, The way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, house of Israel, is my way not equal? Aren't your ways unequal? When the righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits inequity, and dies therein, in his inequity that he has done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turns away from his wickedness that he has committed, and does that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considers and turns away from all his transgressions that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet says the house of Israel, The way of the Lord is not equal. House of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you, house of Israel, every one according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh. Return you, and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so inequity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from all your transgressions, in which you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him who dies, said the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, turn yourselves, and live. Chapter 19 Moreover, take up a lamentation for the princes of Israel, and say, What was your mother? A lioness. She crouched among lions. In the midst of the young lion she nourished her cubs. She brought up one of her cubs. He became a young lion, and he learned to catch the prey. He devoured men. And the nations also heard of him. He was taken in their pit and they brought him with hooks to the land of Egypt. 
now when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost she took another of her cubs and made him a young lion he went up and down among lions he became a young lion and he learned to catch the prey he devoured men he knew their palaces and laid waste to their cities and the land was desolate and its fullness became the noise of his roaring then the nations set against him on every side from the provinces and they spread their net over him he was taken in their pit they put him in a cage with hooks and brought him to the king of babylon they brought him into the strongholds that his voice should no more be heard on the mountains of israel your mother was like a vine in your blood planted by the waters it was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters it had strong rods for the scepters of those who bore rule and their stature was exalted among the thick boughs and they were seen in their height with a multitude of their branches but it was plucked up in fury it was cast down to the ground and the east wind dried up its fruit its strong rods were broken off and withered the fire consumed them now it was planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty land fire is gone out from the rods of its branches it has devoured its fruit so that there is in it no strong rod to be a scepter to rule this is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation End of chapters 12 through 19. Recording by Ken Campbell.